Sometimes, school administrators want to communicate with individuals that do not reside within their PowerSchool application. In this video, we will show you how to add a custom contact list to Alert Solutions. To get started, click on the Alert Solutions 2 link in the Functions menu on the left-hand side of your PowerSchool screen. Then, select Import Data from the drop-down at the top. We recommend using an existing map to ensure your original default preferences are set. For this example, I will use the All Staff Map. Click the Export Sample CSV next to the import map you would like to use. Open the CSV in a spreadsheet editor, such as Excel, and then enter in the contact information you are looking to add. It is important and you must have a unique ID for each record. For this example, I'm uploading a transportation list for a new transportation vendor, so I'll use new bus dash number for my unique ID. Once the file is complete, save it. When you're ready to import, select the Create New Import Map button to the right of the map name and click the Choose File button to locate the file on your computer. Once the file is selected, click OK. Name the import map and associate it to appropriate friendly field name, type, and channel or channels, and then press Save. Click the Import button once more to choose the file you just associated. You will also notice that this screen can be used for any mass updating of custom import lists and maps by choosing Clear Existing Subscribers for this import map and replace, or Edit Existing Subscribers. For this example, I will leave the default of Edit Existing Subscribers as is, and choose Import File. When the import is complete, Click the Contacts link in the top navigation, followed by the Create New List button at the top of your screen. Next, you will need to complete the fields on this screen. The list name is just a friendly name for your list. For this example, I will use New Bus Drivers List. Then, enter an IVR code. This is a number you will use to select your list when creating a voice message using our IVR system. In this case, I'm typing 245. Finally, you will need to filter through your subscribers to find the new contacts you just added. Since the ID field is always unique, your first filter should be ID and your second filter should be starts with. For this example, I will type in new bus dash since the ID of all of the new contacts start with new bus dash. Once your subscriber count matches the total number of contacts you just added, Click Save. Now we're at the final step. We want to confirm the list that we just added is ready to use. To do this, click the Create New Message link in the top navigation. You should see the list you just created. Check the box next to your new list and click Finish. Below the Voice, SMS, and Email buttons at the bottom of your screen, a told number of recipients should appear for each channel. If your recipients are available, you have successfully created your custom list.